Hello there. We just arrived here in Tarpur and um, it is a very hot day but like all the hot days it is also a perfect day to present you one of the historical uh, monuments here in uh, Paharpur in Bangladesh. Check this place out guys this is a 2000 year old Buddhist monastery. Now that's something that's something you don't see every day. This is a massive structure and also the area around here is also massive. It's a huge complex with the main uh, feature, main attraction being this wonderful monastery which from the erosion of time and dust and wind and all the elements now looks kind of like a hill also that's the reason maybe why people call it uh, Paharpur I don't know, at least this is what the uh, sign at the entrance read I'm curious if you can go inside the place, that would be nice because I see here there's some wooden staircase and there's something written in Bangla over there it says new stairs and judging by the barbed wire around here I think not possible I think we will have to find the unconventional way of getting up there I know some of you would uh, like it if I would just uh, go up the walls and go inside the place and just ignore the barbed wire but come on, I mean this is a 2000 year old uh, archaeological place you wouldn't want to get on top of all these bricks and ruin this after all this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site so to those who people who actually do this because I saw some kids running around the walls and the fences and the bricks and whatever please stop because this is not good I mean this is a UNESCO heritage site this is a holy place this is a special place just please don't destroy it I mean it's very good that there's like trash bins around even though from the looks of it I still see that people don't actually bother to use them actually for some reason I don't know why but at least there are here and well it's pretty clean and organized and neat around here and obviously because we're in Bangladesh there has to be a pond right I mean uh, Bangladeshi people for some reason you have a interesting connection with the water there is water everywhere here so obviously there's also a pond and where there's a pond there's also fish probably and there are some nice ladies around here which we met while coming towards the big monastery towards the big compound and guess what they are fishing so that's so cool let me hang out with them a little bit and ask them around assalamu alaikum must i say Mast ase? Ase? Boro or choto? Boro nai, choto. Choto? Choto mast. Acha, acha. Very good. Bangla tala buzin naki. Bangla alka alka. Ji. Amar naam Michael. Michael. Michael ji. Uh fish mast catch or no catch? Can I see? Ha, keta. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I like fishing, so. Whoosh. <laughs> see, Gigi. We went fishing and we attracted the crowd. Yes. You see the fish jumping? They're like mopping, mocking me. <laughs> we are here, but you cannot catch us. <laughs> So, who would have thought you would uh, you would go fish. fishing at Paharpur here? Yeah. If I would catch a fish, that would be also amazing. If you would catch a fish here at Paharpur. Yes. Seven hours later. It's not the log this monster, but it's like a. Oh wow! Fishy fish. Oh my. Okay, time for another one. Another one. 
<laughs> what about this place? <laughs> oh my god. What about this place? No. Guys, I've been left alone to present you the Baharpur uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site here in Baharpur. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. So, brace yourselves for a historical um, presentation and for a story time. One of the most impressive monuments in um, in the south of Himalayas, this is actually Paharpur Buddhist Monastery or Samapura Mahavira, which is basically a 2000 years old mix of religions, a place where three great religions of this world mix together. And one of them is Buddhism, the other one is Jainism, and the other one is Hinduism. And uh, this building is built on three uh, levels out of brick and uh, mortar and mud. I think not mortar, out of brick and mud. And it has lasted through the last 2000s of years. And it is a UNESCO World Heritage um, objective. Um, it has a lot of stupas and a lot of carvings and a lot of embellishments uh, at the lower floor where you can find a lot of different sculptures of Hindu and Buddhist objects of worship. If you can see that, you can find the statues of Buddha and you can also find the different goddesses and gods uh, of Hinduism. Actually, as you can see, there are three layers, one, two, and the third one. We don't know what happened to the top layer, but we know that the whole complex, this whole building has 117 rooms and it is one of the most unique. I think this the single monastery, Buddhist monastery left south of Himalayas of this grade of uh, significance and importance and unique architectural design. And it has greatly influenced uh, Cambodia temples, um, Myanmar and Burma and um, Indonesia temples in Java, especially in that side of the world. Like East Asia was uh, definitely, East Asia temples were definitely influenced by this one. And um, it's not something you can find every day. And it's one of the places that uh, Bangladesh is most proud of because it contains millennia of religions put together and a lot of meditation happened in this place for thousands and thousands of years and uh, this place also contains a lot of energy positive energy because a lot of buddhists came here prayed uh, hindu people as well jainist people as well and it has a lot of positive energy so every religious site has, uh, has something like this and one Another one, like of this great significance uh, in history, like this one, um, would definitely impress you as soon as you visit it. As you guys can see, there are a lot of um, human motives around here, and um, these are an example of the mix between Buddhism and Hinduism because there are a lot of human figures expressed here and this actually shows how a little bit of the picture of the vivid society back in the days like they would be very expressive with their with their imagery and with the sculpting so that would give you a very good idea of the of the lively society that lived back in the days actually a lot of fantastic figures here and a lot of animals. For example, there is this human with the head of a bird and um, there's a peacock and a serpent, a cobra with three heads and chicken and uh, like an oyster on a lotus flower, fish, a dragon over there like eating its own tail because I don't think that's a dog, that's a snail or that's a lizard or some sort. And for example, just look at how detailed this is. There's a lot of fantastic imagery 
and uh, it's pretty well preserved. I've understood that the people have done some reconstruction work here in the days. It is pretty impressive. This is a Buddha skull. Don't contradict me guys if I'm wrong. I think this is true. This monastery, this Buddhist monastery actually influenced all the all the um, future temples in Cambodia and uh, Java and East Asia. That is pretty interesting because this is uh, the rough form actually where everything everything started from. Like this is the origin of Angkor Wat in Cambodia or the temples in Java and uh, or in Indonesia. This is very exciting. And to see something like this here in Bangladesh, I think it's very um, unique because I wouldn't have expected in ever in my dreams to find something like this here and so well preserved. Of course it helps, it is a UNESCO heritage um, objective here, but also the fact that uh, people took care of it somehow during all these days instead of destroying all the all the um, all the sculptures that shows that people are really tolerant or they just simply didn't care enough to destroy them that is like every side has two two ways right well it looks pretty dang impressive from here and now we're going through the main door the north gate this was a huge imposing gate which was um, built a long time ago in the same time as the as this temple as this monastery actually and it was the main entrance to the buddhist monastery as you can see now the only thing that's left are the pillars of the gate but i assume this gate was really impressive what do you think guys was it impressive or not it's huge and from this side you have this amazing splendid view i should go forth a little bit again i think it would be interesting here to hear some some uh, buddhist kind of mantra spoken over headphones like over sound system like very very lightly just to enhance the beauty of this place would it help what do you think that would really enhance the beauty because this was such a complex place and a lot of a lot of monks were living here and inside there as you can see there's a big place in the middle of the of the center part which is actually uh, which was a place of worship I think here are some rooms where monks were staying in this is one room this is another room which was somehow connected to another room through this gate or this passageway you can call it who knows I'm not an archaeological expert I'm just assuming I'm trying to imagine how the things were back in the days oh wow so many tourists now and a lot a lot of places here like kitchen um, stables maybe I'm wondering how all these people were walking back then all the way to here and now we have to take a lot of means of transportation to reach this place well the buddhist monks they were coming here during the rainy season the monsoon season here in the indian subcontinent to seek shelter and to pray with the other with the other monks here and exchange um, teachings and learnings from each other and to each other and that i think it's a pretty beautiful thing um, which everyone should do even nowadays like um, People were spending here a lot of time together during monsoon. There are I think maybe thousands and thousands of people sheltering from the heavy, heavy rains of uh, Bangladesh, 
like that time east east side of uh, Indian subcontinent and uh, kingdoms as well pretty pretty impressive if you think about it like how would a super tired a very tired monk come through this gate be welcomed by everyone else all this place like raining full full of people a lot of noise and a lot of people like cooking and running and like going to one side or the other coming here being welcomed here in his room and having to spend here the next six months of his life uh roaming around going around this place going inside the stupa praying and together with all the other monks I think this was a really spectacular place back in the days with the nature also even more luxurious than now and but still the same people like amazing amazing what do you think of it can you picture this in your mind approximately 10 hours later Ah, uh, looks like uh, I was successful with only one fish today but at least it's one fish with more than no fish so yeah uh, on the way here the road was very beautiful everything was green everything was nice we were going like through some trees you would see rice fields big empty huge green rice fields and somehow this reminded me of Sri Lanka and what I loved about it but for some reason these places are different I mean in Sri Lanka you have like big huge rice fields open rice fields here they're like parceled they like uh, divided into slots and parcels by people so that they work on so I know it's equally as interesting but mm, I don't know. it still felt peaceful in the morning so I love this a lot there is a park around here and there are giraffes, there is a loch, there is a peacock and some elephants and some kind of fountain looking thing and see two peacocks guarding the place and some kids like this place yeah. it's kind of cute wow. I mean if they would have put a maze here out of bushes that would have been more interesting there's okay. a uh, camel out there or yeah there's also a camel, a snake People here like love animals, right? People fighting over there. Where? Right there in the front. It's just a friendly argument, Gigi. Obviously. No, there's a fight, like a specific kind of fight, a cultural fight or something. Okay, let's go check it out. Dance. <laughs> No idea what just happened, but the people are having fun, so I'm having fun as well. Maybe you can enlighten me what they were doing with the bamboo stick and a clay pot. Maybe it's a game or something, I don't know. No idea, but it looks like fun. And one guy got a kick in his ass, so hey, to me it was funny. So guys, this has been amazing. This is Paharpur. This is a 2000 year old, maybe older, monastery, Buddhist settlement, pre-Hindu, I don't know. Very old place. And I wanted to come here since a long time. This was mainly the reason why we, are, we decided to go to Bogura. And finally we made it here, so I would like to thank you guys for watching our channel and for watching our video. This has been our experience around here. We, I cast some fish, Gigi went around, explained you the whole story of this place and you saw some very cool areas around here. So that being said guys, thank you for watching our video again and please subscribe, don't forget to like and do the things that you do and mm -hmm. make us make more video. Subscribe guys, like and comment our videos please. Yes. It would mean the world to us. It would mean the world to us. Okay, this is time to go. So see you in the next one guys. Bye bye. bye.